so it was good me. Currently out here. What? Um, should be in school, but I'm not. I'm joking. No. Um, outside of school. It's my field there. It's a dance team. Look at that. I think it's some random football looks like down there. You see them? Right there. Bam. I'm accurate with this pinpoint thing. Like, boop, 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 boop. So, anyway. More important. Oh, shoot. I shrunk. I shrunk. I shrunk the screen behind me. How do you, like, fuck this? I do. Is that the entire screen? Oh, I don't. I'm gonna break this. Oh, no. Okay. There you go. Now, enough wasting the first 20 minutes again. I don't know why I have AirPod in. My ear hurts. Let's get into this trade. So, took a nice. Ju <laughs> I so, in the last video, I said I'm gonna manage out and plot my risk and everything for the next upcoming trade on the first trade of the 10K funded account. <laughs> risk 3.6%. Over risk, that's okay. That was an accident. It was a learning experience. Always remember. Everything is a learning experience. If you think about it like it's a learning experience does, the market closed in 10 minutes. So, I need, I need to make sure the camera angle is good. I can't even see me, so I don't even know if it's good. Because like when I rewatch the trade recaps, it like annoys me when my camera angle isn't good. Not that I care. Is okay. So, took a trade on. Did I clear my chart? Oh no, I didn't. Yes, I did not clear my chart because I don't remember the trade I took. Anyway, I took a trade on gold yesterday. This will be uploaded today. Today? Friday. Yeah, today. So I took a trade on gold Thursday. Yeah, Thursday because we had economic projections and FOMC press conference on Wednesday. So I was like, no way I'm trading that. One to Thursday, took a sell position and got stopped out. Wah, wah. So let's recap the trade, what we did right, what we did wrong, what we could have done better, what we can do better. Because I did a lot of recapping on this trade. Because um, with the consistency we're putting up and just the win rate, it's amazing. Even this week, our goal for, for the week was 50%. And... We did it. I mean, obviously, we only took two trades, but even last week, our win rate was 80%. And then the week before that was absurd. It was like 85, almost 90% around that area. So, getting into it. Let's see what Lonnie's seen. Actually, I'll do this first. So, uh, I could. Here's someone coming. So, they're walking so slowly. Okay, it's a, a random freshman. I will show you guys, but I don't want to look like a creep if she turns around. Anyway, okay, I'll okay. let's actually get into it. So, came up prior um, Wednesday. FOMC swept these daily highs, pushed price back to the downside. So I was like, okay, what are we looking for? I was like, sells. Some of you, and some of you right now may be like, no, Lonnie, we're looking for buys. We created a higher low. Well, I thought it was sells. So, going into it, four hour. Now I can do this. Had an order block up here, came up, tapped the order block, melted back to the downside, swept these highs, pushed price to the downside. We did have a four hour order block here. So now, this is the part where my common sense could have maybe helped. Sorry, the dance team is sharing their dance theme. Dance thingy? What? Are... <laughs> They're singing the song because the speaker broke. We're gonna get down the floor. 
the na 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 I don't know the song. Like, this is so weird. Like, this is really what I do with my life. Like, I could do, I could do a million other things, and this is what I choose to do. Like, this is so random. Like, I'm outside in my school filming a helicopter above, filming a YouTube video that mo most people may never see. Like, that is so random. That is so random. Anyway, so I always get sidetracked and, they, and then say so anyway. And I was gonna say it again, but I was like, yeah, I need to extend my vocabulary, not reading enough books. So, oh my gosh, let's have it. Tapped into the four hour order block here. Now, this is where your boy kind of screwed up. Let me be real with you. Why? Is, is that angle good? What the heck? Okay, angle, angle's good enough. <laughs> Got that motion, like 360 motion angle. So anyway, the reason why your boy screwed up was because, yes, we tapped into a four hour order block. Did that mean we should have been bullish? Yes. Okay, yes, that means we should have been bullish. But, this is a big booty here. Big butt. Price came back up, rejected... Sorry, there's a bee next to me. I mean, I don't care, but I don't know. It's just looking at me weird. So, price came back up into this one hour for value gap. Rejected heavy. Kind of tap back, kind of tap back into this like order block area. Then price continued higher. Can I like laid out? What the? Kind of like lit. How does the angle look? Good enough. I guess the point across. <sighs> then pushed price upward. Something that should have stuck out to me is if we go in five minute, look at all that chop. All of these orders getting filled. What the I was playing cells? I mean with all due respect. Lonnie, that wasn't we could have been a little bit smarter at least. And look how big my stop loss was on this because I enlarged my risk. Hold up, jitlets. Yes. Anyway. Literally had, let's see how many minutes to fill orders. Had an, had an hour and 45 minutes to fill orders. Filled orders. Push price back to the upside. Reject off the fair value gap. But we were like, no, 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 no. We're actually still supposed to be bullish. Football people, they're they're beating each other. Hold up, let me see if I get this. Yo, <laughs> yo, he's beating him, bro. What the heck? This is actually kind of funny. Yo, yo, he. Yo, he beat the mess out of him, dog. That was low-key funny. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> that was low-key funny. Okay. Oh, that's my screen. I need to lock this. It was this cap control. Can you, like, auto-lock this? This is my screen? Oh, that's me. So we're back in the corner. Where I belong. The black one. Price came up, filled orders, chop, chop, chop. Right there when I seen that, my buy should have changed. I'm just going to be real. My buy should have changed. I don't know why it stayed sells, but it did. Um, and innately, I actually went, funny enough, when entering this trade, I knew it was going to be a loss. Like, I knew it was going to be a loss, but we have that disciplinary rule that if we enter a trade, we literally stop loss or TP. Like, literally, we have to stay in the trade. And some people will be like, oh, no, it's fine. It's a trade. And sure, yes. There's a random kid in the bushes taking a photo of a plant. I, I'm sorry. I have to get this. You see him? What the heck is going on at my school right now, bro? What the heck? This is so random. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This, this is so random, but I'm like, I'm lost right now. What's going on? I'm going to be real. Even though I should be focused on the trade recap. So actually focusing on the important stuff. We had basically three hours to fill orders. Filled orders for filled orders for three hours within a four hour order block um if you ask me that time ratio is pretty accurate so what did price do what the heck now the pe kids are down here oh lord a lot oh lord look at all these children look at them look at all the bots they're stuck in the matrix stuck in the matrix i escaped look at all them look at them dancing behind them and the footballers that were beating each other I don't, know. I don't know where they are on the camera anyway i actually need to focus on what we're doing because i'm gonna be real i'm getting so distracted i thought there was a mosquito turns out there wasn't okay so had so much time to fill orders but let me like actually get down to the like important stuff because i'm saying a bunch of trash right now that really does not matter it really does not matter so after tapping into that i was like okay let's look for a break of structure to the downside either on one hour if i would have waited for one hour we would have never entered this trade should i have waited for one hour yes i 100 percent should have i just realized i've been so distracted on this trade recap okay give me three minutes i'm gonna fully recap this trade they're about to run a mile. The PE. That's crazy. Personally, I me, mean, I wouldn't take that level of disrespect on the bulk. That's crazy. That's a joke. Do your cardio. Um, so, let's actually recap this. Give me, give me, give me three minutes. I'm gonna say stopwatch right now. So, anyway, actually getting in, into everything. Price came up, swept, swept. Um, daily highs right here. FOMC ended up pushing price back to the downside. That's on the daily time frame. On daily, yes, we are still bullish, but with us sweeping highs, I thought we may be pushing back to the downside bearish. On four hour, this is how it looked. We also retraced into a four hour, uh, four hour order block, filling orders back to the downside. Now we also had a four hour buying order block right here. Price did end up tapping into that. Going on one hour, we had three hours to fill orders. Um, and yet I still thought we were bearish. Actually, innately just entering the trade, I knew it was going to be a loss due to this, how the candlesticks were forming and us rejecting off this for value gap and, but still filling orders. I knew, okay, something has to be a little bit off. I was originally going to wait for the one hour break of structure for an entry, which would have been a lot safer. And if, and if we did, we would have never taken this trade. Um, but instead, us being naive, we entered on the five minute. So we're like, okay, let's see five minute break of structure. Seen five minute break of structure, entered on it. Completely incorrect bias, got stopped out. Risk, over risk on this trade, this is 0.2%. 0.2%, yeah, 0.2%. And risk around 3.67% on the account. Should I have risked that much? No, but I did. So what's the lesson with this? wait for one hour break of structure wait for the things the important confluences that actually allow you to succeed within a trade don't take a funky setup if you know it is not going to be a win when looking at the charts you automatically already want to look at it and be like okay this is a win before even taking the trade so there are a multitude of things i learned it is one minute 52 seconds and fortunately the dance team is buzzing it down sorry i, I have to they're like falling on the floor and, and flopping. You know I can do the worm, right? I can do the worm. Like, I'm not like janky. Like, I can do the worm worm. Like, I can like. So let me actually tell you guys what we learned today. Because that was a trade recap. That was the actual trade. Now I can actually tell you guys what we learned today. So you see my beautiful face. We learn, of course, falling within our risk management plan. We are no longer risking 3% of trade, um, or at least for now, because we have max 8% drawdown. 
getting out of drawdown isn't the issue. It's just being able to keep that consistency. That's why we're here. That's why we're becoming better every single day. So our risk will be around 1% to 1.5% risk um, within other trades we take. Due to us having a swing trading approach, I do want to take more so maybe an hourly break of structure um, and or just a clear indication that, okay, yes, price will follow within our within trend direction with having our bias set correctly and everything of the sort. Um, don't play the retracement. I, cause I, I'm saying this cause I wrote on the notes. Don't play the retracement instead, play the extension to the upside, not the little pullback. Screw the pullback. We're going to make big money. Whales, crypto whales. And then bias. So with us having these four things, three things, three and a half, it's two are the same three and a half things and learning last week that Asian session reverses adjusting our stop loss and allowing our trades to fully play out I still think today in the sense was a winning trade primarily because of how we executed and what we learned from last week going into this week still applying it reaching our 50% goal for the week is that our forever goal of course not you know we want a higher win rate but with just Will this game be demonetized? Do you see that? I don't know. Maybe you read it. Maybe you didn't. <laughs> it's crazy. So, with everything being said, that was the overall trade recap. That's what we learned. So, what? Um, that is what we learned going into next week. What time is it? One fifty-nine. I'm like dancing. It's going back. Going into next week, our goals are to. goals with the next week continue to execute and continue to learn from our mistakes apply what we learned this week so that next and and continue to back test and ensure that our trade strategy is all set in stone um this weekend so that when we go into next week we can execute on our setups execute and following our right bias and not taking mixed trades but instead having the understanding that okay if price looks like it's not going to be a valid trade i'm not going to trade today having the discipline to walk away from the charts even when you want to trade or open a demo account place a false trade whatever the case is so that's everything i have to say for this trade re recap video i hope well no not hope we will do our later weekend bias um with everything for sunday bias and yeah it's gonna be a great week next week you're gonna absolutely kill it i know you are win rate target for next week is 50 percent if we want we can go for 75 but whatever the case is just kill the market even if you take losses remember you can always learn from those losses that's the key that's why we take them you know we don't take losses to sit there oh i lost no we take the losses on to sit there recap them and understand why that happened and how can we prevent them later on we take the losses now so that when we do have x amount of funded capital or our own personal capital we're not making those same mistakes anyway love you keep strong and yeah see you later Ooh.